Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's Pastor Matt here with your daily RPM. And of course, today is Good Friday. And I'm bringing this message from my front porch. And as we are looking at Good Friday, I want to remind you tonight at our church from 6 to 8, uh, we'll be having a drive through Living Cross, which sure, I think you'd uh, enjoy driving through it. Today, as we talk about Good Friday, and it, it's very simply the day of history that we celebrate and revere the day Jesus was crucified. And I just want to remind you on this Friday that they betrayed him, they plucked the beard from his face, they forsook and fled from him, they lied about him, they punched him, they mocked him, they insulted him, and then they shouted, crucify him, and chose Barabbas, a notorious murderer, over Jesus. And then they flogged him. They made him carry his own cross. They put nails through his hands and his feet. And they allowed him to die a slow and painful death of suffocation, placing a crown of thorns on his head. They would pierce his side. They would give him vinegar to drink and revile him while he was on the cross. That is Good Friday. What makes it good? Because it was you and I who was supposed to be on that cross. And for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whoever would believe on him would not perish, but have everlasting life. And here's the other thing about Good Friday. Sunday's coming. Sunday's on its way. The devil thought he had one over, but he's going to want to find out you can't keep Jesus down. And here we are in the midst of this coronavirus situation. It may feel like Friday night in your life, but Sunday's coming. Join me tonight at 830 as well. Virtual communion in your homes. Get some juice and some crackers. And we'll have communion right here together tonight at 830 p.m. God bless you. I'll see you on Monday. If you like this video, like and share and follow my dad on Pastor Matt Ministries.